Hi, I'm Dan Meldrum and this is John Raybuck. We work for Sagear Plastics. Sagear Plastics is a plastic uh, injection molder which is known to specialize in gas assist injection molding. We're the foremost gas assist injection molder in the world. And gas assist injection molding is a process which is ideal for very large, very complex, uh, part, very large and very complex parts and parts which require excellent surface cosmetics. So if you are having problems finding a plastic processor or an injection molder to supply very large, very good looking and also very complex parts, uh, you should probably pay attention to the rest of this video for the next couple of minutes. Uh, Sagear Plastics has uh, about 400 to 500 gas assist injection molded parts uh, that it, uh, that it uh, processes every year. And uh, the, the purpose of this video is to communicate uh, what types of parts are best for gas assist injection molding, uh, what the design features and benefits uh, of those parts are, and um, also who you should contact if you have more questions and you have a part like that and you want somebody to help you with that part. So uh, the first uh, category of parts that we were talking about were large parts. Uh, in back of us here we have a large gas assist injection molded part and John can you go over with us uh, what why gas assist injection molding was the best process for this and what properties and what features it lent to this part which make it good. Yeah certainly Dan. Um, this part is uh, a gas assist injection molded part. It has two valve gates on it. It's, uh, it's actually molded in a 1500 ton press. Typically when you're uh, doing straight injection molding you will take the projected area, which is uh, the length and the width and the, and the direction of pull, uh, and multiply by three and a half to four and a half tons per square inch. Um, this will lend you to maybe like a 3,000 ton press or so. Uh, Mulling this in a 1,500 ton press with gas assist, uh, the typical ratio is one to one, approximately based on the viscosity of the material. Uh, so we're able to get this molded in a smaller press and save the cost of our money. Uh, how gas assist works, is the gas is, is entered into uh, these gas channels. We design these gas channels to push the material to the last place to fill, and um, the gas then penetrates these large channels that you see on this part, uh, and it packs out all of the ribs, bosses, and other features of the part that traditionally would be cause sink marks if they don't follow the design rules of straight injection molding. Okay, so. With gas assist, a lot of the rules and most of the rules of strain injection molding are thrown out the window, which is good news for you. Um, as you can see, uh, there, there's a couple gas uh, pins up to the top up here. Uh, we also have another gas pin down here towards uh, the middle where the other valve gate is located. Uh, and this part uh, runs great, very straight edges on it. Uh, the gas also allows you to have less stress in the part, uh, allows you to um, you know, like I said before, mold features that you couldn't traditionally mold without a good cosmetic, you know, getting a good cosmetic surface with the gas assist. So I guess for this part then the, the key takeaways are using the gas allows you to use, uh, to use less pressure and to get the resin to flow farther and to fill in the parts of the mold which are, are hardest to fill or would be cosmetically very challenging. Is that about right? Yeah, I mean, you, you couldn't do this part with uh, straight injection line with these, these thick ribs and bosses without having sink on the opposing side uh, without this process. Okay, and, that, and those ribs give this part, even though it's so large, it gives this part a lot more structural stability and firmness than you would assume a large part with these thin walls would have. So. Yeah, having those larger bosses also allows you to keep your bosses from cracking. Uh, when you install the uh, screws, which, which this part does not include any inserts, it's the, the screws are just threaded in to the boss, so it actually helps with the hoop stress. Excellent. Uh, I mean, a second class of parts that are is excellent for gas assist injection molding are some of the more complex parts, especially parts which we call consolidation parts. Uh, we have a couple parts uh, right over here, John. Can you explain these a little bit? Yeah, certainly. Um, this part here is a, what we would consider a consolidation part. Uh, I believe there's about five parts uh, that were, were combined to make this one part. And as you can see, there's some handles on here. And, and this part is very stiff, very strong. 
and I believe a display uh, nest in this center section here. As you can see on the end here, um, this is a, a cross section of the part, uh, and this kind of shows uh, how the part is hollow on the inside. And in fact, here at Sagar, we use two methods of gas. We have one method is using nitrogen gas, and we also have a new method that we're using. It's uh, carbon dioxide, which allows you to cool the inside of the part. Um, so those are two new things we're doing here, or well, one new thing with the CO2. Uh, this part here is, uh, is also somewhat of a consolidation part, but it's also called, we call these like a handle panel part, where you combine a handle and, and a panel. As you can see, there would be a, a work surface here and uh, two handles here. This part's also very rigid. As you can see on the back side, the gas channels uh, go down both sides of the part. And I believe this is most likely for stiffness and to be able to clean it, because a lot of uh, hospitals nowadays, there's big problems with nosocomial infections. And using gas assist, you don't have to core this out any longer. You can leave it solid, and we just gas it out. And thus. Uh, allows you to the nurse or the, the, the practitioner to clean the surface a lot easier. So using gas assist, you're able to help uh, hospitals reduce nosocomial infection, which is good for ever, good for us all, really. Um, so Dan, we want to talk about this part. Very good. Already? Yeah, the the last part we have here, uh, or the the last class of part that we that we usually. Um, use gas assist injection molding for our parts which have very high cosmetic standards. Uh, John, can you bring us through how, how this, this uh, yeah. gas assist sure. helps on this part? So this part here was actually uh, intention, originally intention to be a sheet metal part and the customer wanted to have an aesthetic uh, you know, outside to their equipment. And so what was discussed was trying to come up with a gas assist design that could lend itself to the structure and the aesthetics at the same time. And again, gas assist is, is what you need because as you can see on this part, you know, there's about a, I think there's six or seven, eight, seven inch tall ribs on this part, uh, you can clearly see. And on the opposing side of the part, you can also clearly see there's no sink marks on this. Okay, so and I'm gonna flip this part over again. Uh, on the inside of this part, you'll also see we're breaking more rules again on, on straight injection molding where we're, we're putting bosses, very large thick bosses, into the nominal wall, which to the outside uh, would, would cause sink marks with, this, with straight injection molding. And you know, having these big th thick bosses uh, is basically impossible uh, without getting sink marks on the outside without gas assist. And the gas channels are very well hidden down on the inside here. Uh, and they trace a lot of these ribs and boss features. And uh, it's introduced, I believe, with three gas pins uh, down inside here. Uh, and again, very thick sections. Uh, just so you're aware, this part also has uh, EMI shielding on it, which a lot of uh, electronic housings need nowadays. We also offer at SageR a um, uh, EMI material that you can actually mold the housing out of uh, and eliminate the actual uh, uh, this coating to help you with EMI if that's something that's you're interested in. Um. Okay, very good. Thanks for, for covering that with us. Um, uh, in summary, if you have uh, parts which are of a similar size, uh, similar complexity, or uh, have the, the very high cosmetic specifications as these parts would have, um, please feel free to look us up uh, on the internet, uh, Sage Art Plastics. Uh, look us up on the internet. There's much more information there on our website. Uh, we are uh, the authority uh, in, this, uh, in this practice and, and we are the, the go-to resource for it. And please feel free to reach out uh, to us by telephone or by email as well. We'd be very happy to work with you and to talk with you about your parts and your projects and to see if this is, uh, if this is a process which would uh, benefit you and benefit some of the work that you have as well. Thank you very much. Thanks.